Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain Fourier transform of impulse signal. Here, I will solve in total two questions. In question number one, impulse is given at time t is equals to zero time. And in second question, impulse is given at time t is equals to capital T time. Let me explain first question. See in first question, we have been given with impulse at time t is equals to zero. So if you define the function, then delta of t that is given to us, that is having magnitude one at time t is equals to zero. And this function that is having zero value for t is not equals to zero. For this impulse, I will derive Fourier transform. One should know the basic definition of Fourier transform x of omega of x of t that will be integration with limit ranges from minus infinite to plus infinite e to the power minus j omega t dt. Here x of t that is impulse signal delta of t. Here if you carefully observe, see here we have integration with limit ranges from minus infinite to plus infinite but this delta of t that is having value 1 at t is equals to 0 only. So for this integration here we need to place value at t is equals to 0 only. Right. You don't need to integrate this. You need to place value at t is equals to 0 only. The reason is here we don't have limit. Here only t is equals to 0 function is available. So if you place t is equals to 0 in this then you will be getting delta of t that is 1 at t is equals to 0 and e to the power minus j omega t where t is 0 so e to the power 0 means Fourier transform that is unity for impulse at t is equals to 0 right now let me solve second question so that will resolve your understanding further see here we have impulse at t is equals to capital T what it means it means here we have impulse signal as per delta of t minus capital T means at t is equals to capital T we have impulse and this impulse that is having value 1 at t is equals to capital T and it is having value 0 for t is not equals to capital T. Now let me explain Fourier transform calculation. Fourier transform x of omega of signal x of t that will be integration with limit ranges from minus infinite to plus infinite e to the power minus j omega t dt. Here we have x of t that is delta of t minus capital T e to the power minus j omega t dt. Now again here we don't need to integrate this. The reason is function is having value at t is equals to capital T only. So for this integration we will be having delta of t minus capital T e to the power minus j omega small t and with this we need to place t is equals to capital T only. So at t is equals to capital T delta of t minus capital T that is unity and e to the power minus j omega instead of small t now we need to substitute capital T. So Fourier transform is e to the power minus j omega capital T for impulse signal with shifted version right. So based on shifting we need to understand this Fourier transform and this is what you can also understand based on time shifting property that I'll be explaining in future coming videos. I hope you have understood this video still if you have any confusion just place that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.